Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about pregnancy and body image. I have two of my sisters that are pregnant with me at the same time right now and three close friends that are also pregnant right now and we're all um, pretty close in our due dates. And one common theme I've noticed that all of us have felt or expressed in some way is how we just don't feel as beautiful or are having insecurities about our body and how it's changing and just not feeling as, you know, glowing and vibrant as, you know, they tell you about. And it's like, I was told there was going to be glowing. <laughs> so anyways, I think to a degree, and this has to do with two of the clashes I've already talked about, egoism and attachment. You know, we have an attachment to what our body looks like, especially if um, you're an active person and you take a lot of pride in your body. And then our ego too, we have um, an egoic sense of what our body should look like and how it should function and perform on a daily basis. And so along with the many hormonal changes and changes in our body and our um, lifestyle during pregnancy, it, it can be a lot to handle at once and it be, can be very emotional, especially with all the hormonal changes that are going on. And I just wanted to provide um, just a little bit of guidance on some things you can do to kind of overcome that. And for one, just knowing that you're not alone in this and that most people experience this when they're going through pregnancy. I know my last two pregnancies, I was like really, really sick for the first trimester and even into the second trimester. So I just felt awful all the time and I just couldn't understand what these crazy people that loved being pregnant were talking about. I was thinking, who are these people? <laughs> um, let me have their pregnancy. And this time, uh, definitely no morning sickness. It's a lot better. No complaints. But there's still that that feeling of inadequacy inadequ that comes with the changes in your lifestyle and the changes in your body. Uh, especially being a hardcore yoga fan, I'm used to doing like my hour to hour and 15 minute uh, power flows, going for runs, intense hikes, you know, lots of ab workouts that I really love and I can't do any of that right now. I can definitely do modified yoga and that's why I've been sharing that on this channel. But it's just, it's not the same. And there's this, a little bit of disappointment behind not being able to do that or go side by siding with my husband or go horseback riding with my friend and um, just the little things like that and things that we take for granted when we're not pregnant. And then, you know, your body's changing and there's this, everyone will probably agree that pregnant women are absolutely gorgeous, especially in their last trimester when there's no doubt that they're pregnant. But in the first and second trimester, when you're not feeling so hot, you're nauseous all the time, and you're gaining weight everywhere, not just your belly, I wish. I mean, I'm sure there's some people where it's just their belly, but for me, and in my experience, a lot of people, there's weight gain a little bit everywhere. It can be hard to feel beautiful and powerful and like the goddess that you are. And I just wanted to remind you all that you are beautiful, you are powerful, and you are a goddess. We, in general, are goddesses. We create life that is so powerful, and men can't even do that. So honor yourself and your body for the extreme transformation that it undergoes to create another living, breathing human being. So what I wanted to offer you today, my little tip to feel better. And I know it's not perfect and it's not going to solve all of your problems, but it still helps. Know that you're not alone. 
And I have five affirmations to remind you of how amazing you are so that you can accept yourself and move through this pregnancy like a goddess. So we have, I am a beautiful goddess creating a beautiful child. And you can write these down if you'd like and you wanna repeat them every time you're feeling down. Just remember, you are creating a baby. You're creating a life. And your goddess energy is what is doing that. Number two, I am gifted with the power to create life. That is no small feat. You go, you can create life. And there's some people that would give anything to do that that don't even have that blessing. So remember, you are blessed. Three, my body is magnificent in that it grows and changes with the needs and demands of my baby. Yes, just think about how absolutely amazing your body is, that it can grow a life inside of it. It can create from a tiny little egg, growing all the way into a human with fully functioning limbs and brain and limbic system, beating heart, the whole nine yards, and your belly is able to stretch that far without breaking. It is truly a miracle. Number four, I love my body for how amazing and complex it is. It's a little more to what I was just saying. There's so many complex systems working in the background to create this beautiful life. When you really think about everything that's going on without you even thinking about it, it's just happening. It's really amazing. Five. I honor every part of the journey in motherhood. So motherhood is a journey, let me tell you. And uh, it doesn't just start the day your baby is born. It starts the, baby, the day your baby is conceived. You have to go through a bunch of trials and tribulations even before then. Watching your body change, feeling your body change, noticing differences in your diet, how you crave food, how you feel around certain people. For instance, I hate my cat. <laughs> Never hated my cat before, but apparently being pregnant, I hate my cat. <laughs> so, you know, just all the little quirks of being pregnant, there will be many of them. And then you get this beautiful baby that relies on you in the end and you have to nurture them and take care of them and provide guidance for them all the way into adulthood. And every step is different. Every step is challenging in its own unique way. So honor yourself for this journey. You rock. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.